In this video we're going to talk about the two search macros that exist in Confluence and we're going to show you how they work and what you can use them for. So let's jump right into Confluence. So in order for you to see what the search macros look like, let's create a new page. So let's call this the search page. Let's make it wide. And so, oh no, let's not do that. So there are two search macros that you can use. So if you just do search, you will see that you have live search and page tree search. So let's start with the page tree search first. So by adding this one, uh, what we are actually doing is we are saying that we want to search a particular tree. And what do we need by a tree? Well, it is everything that is below a certain page. So let me just publish this one quickly. So let's move this one up here. So this one, for example, page properties, it has sub pages and we can create another sub page below this one called uh, sub page just for illustrations. So now we have we have a root tree, uh, a root category, we have the branches, and we have the leaf page, as it is called in a page tree. So in a normal situation, you will have situations where you have sections that have a lot of content under them. So for example, if you take a meeting notes, you usually have a lot of meeting notes, and they will be difficult to maintain. So while you can search using the global search, it's great if you know what you're going to search for. But if you want to search just in this tree, then we can actually use this search function for it. So in the page tree search, uh, when we create it, we get to offer, uh, we get the, oh, I'm sorry, I'm clicking all over the place here. So we get to name uh, the root page. Uh, so that is where the search should start from. And for us, it was the page properties. So page properties. So let's see if this one works. So now if I search here, I want to search for something that we have status, for example. And then I search. Now, as you can see, it will only search in the page properties parse. Instead of if I search here, then it will actually be a similar way. Oh, wait, we search for status like that. And you see that we get more things showing up and it is in different spaces here. And that is uh, because we do this globally, then it will search everything in Confluence. So what we have done in this search is actually we have limited to just one, one tree here. And this is very useful if you have a lot of content and you want to limit it to just a certain tree. Now we can do this even more powerful. Uh, so we can actually use this one uh, and search for labels instead. So if we do search again, and we do the live search, then you will see that this one will show you, it will restrict to a certain space, which is good because if you search globally, it will search everything and the page tree will search based on where that uh, root is. So in this case, we can say only in the flexible Atlassian setup and we only want to have this one for the label page properties. And then we can choose the size of it. So as you can see, it will resize a bit. If I do like that, I think it shows better. No, it's still the same. And we can have a placeholder text. We can actually have uh, an instruction. So search for uh, page properties. And then we can select what kind of uh, content we want to search for. In this case, we only want to search for pages. You can have a similar one that just show your blog post, uh, or you can have comments. Uh, so you can actually see uh, different types of inf uh, different types of content in your search. 
And then you can select, do we want to have just the title of the pages? Do we want to have space name connected to it? In this case, we only have one space. And if you have the page excerpt, it will actually take the first content on the page and it will display that one. So let's just take page excerpt. And now if you publish this one, uh, you will see that we have a rather long uh, search box. It looks a little bit different than that one. So now if I search for status, then you will see that we'll actually spit out a live. So I don't have to press any search button for this one. And it will show we only have this label on two pages. And it will actually show a little text for us. So if we change this one and we use none and publish, then you see if we do the same search, you will see it will only spit out the names. So you can control that one. And this one is very useful for, uh, for example, for start page for support. Uh, if you have three or four different sections, then you can have a search bar. You can make a little box. You can have the top five content in that area. And then you can have a search that is just for that particular content. And if you have it in the structure uh, where each content will actually be a different category, then you can choose if you want to have this one or if you want to have the live one. But that's it for search pages in Confluence. If you like this kind of content, then feel free to subscribe to my channel. I will produce more uh, small instructions like this one for Confluence, from Jira and for Jira Service Management uh, for starters. So you don't want to miss those. Uh, until next time, have a good day.